Hello, this is my presentation on hotspots in microwaves. Very interesting topic indeed. Um, so first of all, how a microwave oven works. The microwave oven works by microwave generator at the top of the microwave oven, producing microwaves with a frequency of around 2.45 gigahertz, and so, rate, and so therefore a wavelength of around 0.1 meters, as you can see in like, I think it's around there that these waves are generated. And then uh, microwaves, this wavelength slash frequency, are absorbed, um, or then they're guided along and they're sent down into the main kind of cooking chamber of a microwave oven. And then the microwaves, this wavelength slash frequency, are absorbed by many molecules that make up food, such as water, fat, and sugar, but they aren't absorbed by plastic or metal, so it just purely heats up the food. And so this means that they, well, yeah, they only heat up the food, which is very useful. Um, hot spots in microwaves basically occur because microwaves have electromagnetic waves, and so they travel as sinus, uh, sinusoidal waves. So they have a have a sine curve shape, and so in places they've got peaks and troughs. And um, where these come together, if you get two peaks coming together, then these will add together in a thing known as constructive interference, as you can see in the diagram on the left. If alternatively you get a peak and a trough coming together, you get destructive interference and they cancel each other out. So, where they add together, um, you find the waves have twice the energy, whereas where they um, cancel out um, the waves, well, the, the energy, um, where they have no energy whatsoever. Um, in other places, you get kind of semi, where they're kind of semi aligned and you get semi additions or semi uh, removals of energy, um, whatever. And so basically, those places are the dead spots in microwaves, and those ones there are kind of the hot spots, um, which is really what causes the hot spots to occur in microwaves. Um, in terms of mapping out the hot spots, this can be done by putting a heat detector in a microwave oven and seeing where it detects the most heat, so to find the hot spots, then for cold spots, the dead spots. Uh, an example of the heat detector is thermal paper, which when heated up, releases a dye. A certain colour, um, so you can use that to trace back to, to work out where the hotspots are. You put it in different la layers in the microwave oven. Okay, sorry about the recording just cut out, so I'll just continue on from the beginning of this slide. So, mapping up hotspots, so this can be done by putting a heat detector in the microwave oven and seeing where it detects most heat, which, will, um, which you can do by as an example for heat paper would be thermal paper, which will release a dye of a certain colour in hot, uh, where it's heated up the most. And so using this, you can get a map of the hot spots and cold spots. And you can do this in different layers throughout the oven to basically um, find the hot spots and cold spots at different heights. And overall, you can use it to map out kind of, you can, get a, you can map out a whole map of the oven of its hot and hot spots and its dead spots. Finally, the problems caused by hot spots in microwave ovens are basically that it leads to some parts of food being cooked more than others, which means that. Some parts can be overcooked, whilst others are undercooked, which can, can cause food poisoning in the worst cases, but it generally just leads to poorly cooked foods. However, there are quite a few solutions to this. Um, one of the main solutions is basically where, where the food is rotated, so uh, different parts of the food should rough, spend kind of roughly equal uh, amounts of time in hot spots and dead spots, so therefore it will all get cooked evenly. And you can also um, uh, when the waves are guided in, you can change the angles at which they're fired in, which basically will alter where the hot spots and dead spots occur as food is heated. So it also means that food will spend a relatively equal amount of time in hot spots and cold spots. And that's all. Thank you very much.